What's up guys? Today we are watching the season finale of Wolfpack. So, last episode we found out a bit about Sarah Michelle Gellar's character. <laughs> we found out that she's actually the wolf from back then that like killed Cyrus's dad and that she's basically like the second wolf now because like there's the other dude that we saw in her and actually at the end of the episode fucking Blake, Everett, Harlan, Luna they caught the fucking wolf in a freezer. And Loki, I'm not, I don't know how that actually worked, but we're just gonna go with it. We're not gonna question it. <laughs> but I'm gonna see what they're gonna do with him in this situation. So I guess let's get into the episode. Wait, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Everyone knows you're supposed to leave a knife and a wound so they don't bleed out. But wasn't that like a knife that had harmful shit on it? I forgot what it was. That was not in the freezer. And that can't be an actual fucking hospital. So where the hell is that? Why is it showing Everett? How are you feeling, Everett? Let me get you some water, you're probably a little dehydrated. So it actually is effort? What the fuck? Okay, this is definitely something way different. So what the fuck is this? Heart palpitation? No. Did you feel any anxiety during the session? Experience any hallucinations? He seems like he's hallucinating right now. Come on, give him the phone. What the fuck? Wait. Huh? And a text for me. Oh, she can look at it, but not me. Yeah, because she's not searching through my messages. What's the problem with me looking at my wife's messages? The problem is- Wait, so are they all hallucinating this kind of thing? Okay, so we just got done with Everett. Now it's Blake. Did that actually- happen like it's like a flashback of a memory i'm assuming so maybe the accident thing did happen you want to tell me what's going on it's about last week you mean what happened to luna's horse it wasn't an accident okay so this one is luna i was like who's next harlan or luna but it's luna <gasps> Better if he stays that way. Harlan. Oh wait, so it's not Luna, it's Harlan? So Harlan knew about it? What do you think you're doing? What? Why do you keep drawing me? So this is Luna, okay, so the other one was Harlan. You killed a cop. You killed my doctor and a nurse. You killed Phoebe. That was the fires, the wolf. Wait, so that's actually him thinking now because that can't be Luna. He can't, because they already know Luna didn't do anything.
you know, your friends don't like me. So it's just going to keep going back and forth this whole episode between, like, everyone and confusing me? Like, can we end this shit now? Oh wait, is that the woods memory from a long time ago whenever he was with his dad but then went off on his own? I'm not gonna hurt you. That's right. You'll rape your throat out so fast you won't feel a thing. Man didn't hesitate in this. So what was the whole point of that like 10 minute thing? We need to do something to help him. No, we're not. We're not taking him to a hospital. What is going on with Harlan? Can I catch my breath? Why are you looking at me? Because you're giving me a panic attack. No, I'm not. He doesn't even look like he's panicking right now, so it has to be you. That's your anxiety, not mine. Everett has definitely changed his demeanor in this episode. Since like last episode too, like whenever he looked in the mirror and looked all like evilish in a way. Like that's him right now. I don't know anything. Look, maybe he does. <laughs> Answer it at this point. I mean, what's the point of not answering? You have to figure out how to do that first. Is he dying? Slowly. Okay, then we should get him to a hospital. They still need to say who the fuck that is. They never said who's on the other end. Well, what does that mean? Break the bond. Blake feels it already. Don't you? They both do. So their pack bond is breaking? My strength and her speed, it comes from him. If Baron dies now, the bond fades, the power fades. Oh, okay, that's fucking weird. I don't know why anyone would choose to be ordinary. Let him die. Okay, Blake. But wait, when he said, like, go back to being ordinary, does that mean that they can go back to being human? Like, I didn't think that was a thing. I'll deal with this tomorrow. Look, I know I'm asking a lot. If you can hold out with me a little bit longer. Mm-mm. Bickley, we don't want to mess with her. We're trying to keep you safe. Don't want her to kill you some for some reason. Unless she doesn't actually want to kill you. What do you think he can do? You mean like us? You're strong. I'm fast. We each get one thing. So then what can he do? Um, what if he's a mixture of all of it? We already know what he can do. He can actually transform, maybe? He can turn people into werewolves. You know, you're right. So what kind of wolves can do that? Why is he able to? Can Sarah Michelle Gellar's, like, wolf turn people? Let's talk to Dad or, or, or Prisha now that she knows. She always knew. They weren't slick about it, because whenever he was there, for whenever she killed the horse when she was younger... Or not, never mind. She said a wolf couldn't have done that. She lied. 
pretended like she didn't know anything about us. When did she find out? It was after your horse. I, I heard them talking about it. So I was right. Okay. Maybe he's not dying. Would it be such a tragedy if he did? He's basically a mass murderer. She ain't wrong. Um... Everyone always says that to me. Use your anxiety. It motivates you. Make your anxiety work for you. Um, that's not how it works. It makes me want to fucking die. That doesn't feel like a survival tool to me. Definitely not. Why are you doing this? You think you can listen in and get a confession or something? There are no listening devices in my office. Go ahead. I don't know why he was low-key referencing to, like, maybe a wolf power, but he doesn't know about her. I know that he didn't set the fire. How do you know that? I'm really good at knowing when someone's lying. He's not lying. Obviously, you're not that good if you can't sense when she's lying. Can you tell if I'm lying? Because I don't think Cyrus is the arsonist either. Say that again. Hmm... arsonist you know she could also just be really good at controlling her heartbeat especially since we know she is a wolf and shit like i know you're not the arsonist i know you're not a fuck boy how'd you solve that mysterious how is that helping her hearing wasn't the arsonist and you said you were really good at spotting the liar well i wasn't lying about being this arsonist what fire did you set i did set a fire what i was only nine i was curious about my dad curious about fire oh so it was a totally different thing though that's different that's different getting you out of this. Hell yeah. I ship them. She noticed didn't she notice earlier that she was listening? She looked at her like that too, so now they have to know something. Where were they found? Same construction site. Someone called an anonymous tip. Anonymous. Would that have been her? Hey. What is with Danny? I feel like he he's he's obviously like able to tell like or like sense something and it's like how? Remember when they brought us in for interviews and we could all hear each other? It was the white noise machine. It did something. I think she knows it. One things were good between us. Remember that I I took her to every R-rated horror movie you ever wanted to see, even though you were only 10. Why are they listening to this now if, like, he only said to give it to him if he was gonna die or something? Not in vague illusions. I need details. Do you trust me? No. At least she's honest about it, but I mean... Not until I saw you myself. With Harlan and Luna. No. So she does trust you.
She had been breaking in their house? The fuck? That is weird. That is so weird. Wait a second. Don't tell me I was right about the mom thing. Because if you think about it, the other dude is their brother, right? Why would she want to help him? Maybe that's her son, too. So then, oh fuck, did I crack a case or am I just thinking too deep? We're gonna see. That is the weirdest fucking thing. And, but you know what? They both have blonde hair. Maybe hers is dyed, but you know. Did she know? Oh, Baron, and all he keeps saying is parking garage. So it had to be that night when I took him to work. Not parking lot. I know. That's him trying to tell them that there's two different wolves. In the parking garage too. Remember, I kept saying you met her in the motel parking lot, but you kept saying parking garage. Is so they're not gonna figure out that it was her and not Baron. The day of the full moon, Ramsey came to my house to talk to me. That's all right. Shaking my hand is not an admission of guilt. So maybe that's one of her senses as a wolf or something. Well, like, or maybe not. I don't know. Why would she shake their hand? That's why Baron didn't kill him. He saw Danny hit you, but after Ramsey shook his hand, Danny wasn't a threat anymore. She marked him. Oh, okay, that's different. Um, that's a pretty big guess. I don't want you to go. I'm sorry. Everett, come on. If Baron dies, we go back to normal. It's so weird to think that it works that way. So if he dies, they go back to being human, basically. How? Need some help, please. This boy's been stabbed. He's in the ER getting checked out by doctors now. Did Garrett say what to And now the dude wakes up? Like, the fuck? I'm not leaving him alone. Everett can take care of himself. But he's part of the pack. Look at Harlan. Look at him caring for people. I love that. What is this? Blake, social services is going to be looking after you and Danny for a while. Hey, look, they're not giving me a choice. Damn. I never thought that that would happen right now. I know that. No, Dad, wait, please. Dad, this is not your fault. This is my fault. Please, you can't let them do this. <laughs> wait! Why did he just walk away with Danny like that as if he was just going to leave her? Like... Dad, we need to talk about something. Wait. Don't you dare tell me his dad is about to put him in the psych ward for not taking his meds. Result of your behavior. You need to accept responsibility for that. You want a 50-150 me? You're a minor. It's a 55-85. It's a 72-hour hold. For what? You act like he's been doing shit. Like... There's blood all over your roll. Dad. Please. Please. It looks like a shitty situation too because he can't explain what happened. Toys for sick children. Yeah. 
think I got the epinephrine? You get everything here? So he's been taking shit from the hospital? Damn. What's your last name? Malcolm. His dad is Gideon Emery? Where are you taking me? To meet your mother. She's been trying to find you for a long time. She started the wildfire. So it was the mom. And I was right because he knows. Oh wait, so he knew too. So we know now that she is the one that started the fire, but the thing is she overheard what Cyrus was telling Harlan, so she's gonna find a way to pin it on him. Maybe. The nurse told me he was being taken to surgery. Nobody can seem to find him now. She kind of seems surprised, so maybe he doesn't like her. It's like a revenge thing. Garrett, you asked me to trust you. I'm asking. Can you trust me now? You haven't given us a reason to. You're under arrest for the murder of Officer Trent Miller. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Under what evidence? No. So she's getting her own kid arrested because if that's the mom, then that's her kid. I feel like this song is like perfect for this scene. What is about to happen? So you could try to kill me. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Your head is exactly what I'm hoping for. Okay, so yeah, he does have, like, so he recognized her, which is why, okay. So he's gonna try and get revenge. <laughs> and he doesn't know. Oh wait, did he go there with her? Okay. I'm gonna have to watch Gideon Emery die. No caller ID calling her too. You think you made them a pack? They wouldn't be alive without me. I've helped them every step of the way. And I'm still helping. So it's not Gideon Emery, it's not her. First. So now Garrett knows who she is. And like what she is. Okay. Who are you? The mother of your adopted children. Maybe. Well, yeah, she laid in their bed. It was weird. So she has to be. I'm Harlan and Luna's mother. How are you going to respond to that? Only a pack could make him human again. Do they know that? They're learning. So then you changed him into a wolf and now you don't want him as a wolf? If you find the werewolves. Every member of the pack has an ability. Let me show you what I can do. Oh no, oh no, what are you gonna do? What are you able to do? Is she gonna heal him? Is she a healer?
so she can heal and who's about to end up dead because Malcolm's right there. Who's gonna end up shot? It better not be my dude. Okay, so he didn't shoot him. You're not as strong as you think you are. You've been human for too long. Oh, I thought that meant something totally different. Like, he was also something. But, yeah, he's about to die. You need him alive. So you shot him. And for what? So you're trusting her now. You know what would have happened if he killed me? Harlan and Moon would be next. Do you know what a trophic cascade is, Garrett? Oh, so he would have went after them. I didn't think he would. I thought he was just going to go after her. I knew you were a good parent. I need you to help protect our children. It's so weird to hear her say our children. Like, no, it's his child. Well, his children, you weren't there. And you. Not the human father. No. The wolf. You're offering to change him? And that's literally how you're going to end the season. No. No. She is still so manipulative. Like, it's like, yeah, we found out that that's their mom and everything, you know, but she still seems like a bad person. And I don't blame Malcolm for wanting to kill her. She started the fire and she's trying to blame it on someone else. She's literally there to find who started it, even though it's herself. So she's going to be blaming it on a teenager. Or finding a way to blame it on him, like on Gideon Emery's character. Like, I don't know. But it is so weird how that works. I, the last thing I thought would happen was her offer him the bite. But it's also like, it's not crazy, like, I don't know. Like, on one hand, she seemed like the villain. On another hand, she doesn't. But right now, to me, she still sounds so manipulative and everything. So I don't like her right now. I forget that. And, you know, it is so weird that it's like, not a specific kind of wolf is able to be able to turn some into like a werewolf because you know thinking of back back to teen wolf you have to be an alpha to change like someone into a werewolf here baron is not even an alpha but he has the power to change people into werewolves and it's just i also find it weird that literally if he dies or anything they go back to being human like how does that work i thought once you're a werewolf you're always a werewolf but I mean, it's it's different in this world, and uh, it's so freaking weird. But I'm mad that that's how they ended the season. Like, I thought we would get much more, and you know, see more between like Harlan, Luna, Blake Everett, like a different kind of ending. But no, this is what we got. We have to wait to see if they get renewed in another season to see what's gonna happen i'm mad but you know what i'm glad my dude's not dead because i literally kind of thought he was about to die in that scene but he didn't and i'm glad but she still murdered a lot of people thinking back to it because they found the bodies oh god and harlan was arrested why <sighs> that whole thing is like it just stressed me out it pissed me off but I don't know since I'm done with this show I will be starting another one I think I was going to be starting Daredevil so that is the next thing we will be starting so I guess watch out for that reaction 